Night's three alarm fire at a historic church has left Broadway closed for almost 24 hours now as crews are working to try to keep the flames at bay. The St. Paul's German Evangelical Church was thought to be vacant after decades of inactivity, making some wonder if this could have been prevented. Wave News reporter Brandon Spencer looked into the records of the church and joins us now live with what he found. Well, John, records show that inspections at St. Paul's German Evangelical Church started back in 2020, and initially it was deemed secure, but after frequent break-ins over the years, that quickly changed, adding to a growing concern and pattern for historical buildings that experts say needs to change. When St. Paul's German Evangelical Church fell victim to a three-alarm fire Wednesday night, downtown Louisville may not have only lost an architectural beauty, but a huge piece of history as well. The memory of that congregation, St. Paul's German Evangelical Church, is deeply rooted in East Downtown. Building first in 1860. Tom Owen has been an archivist at UofL for almost 50 years. He says the church in its current state was built in 1906, but has essentially been abandoned for several decades. The church was supposed to be vacant, but crews tell us there were reports of people hanging out of the building as smoke came out the top, drawing concerns from Owen about how our historical sites are treated. There's got to be both on government side and ownership side a more aggressive effort to secure those buildings against entering illegally, unlawfully. So we reached out to both the owners, the Laszlo Group based out of Utah, and Metro Government. The Department of Codes and Regulations says they started inspections of the church in 2020. The findings initially started with trash violations, but as time went on, they found the church open frequently, leading to the department boarding the building. In 2023, they found themselves maintaining the property on multiple occasions and encountered a homeless encampment on site that they attempted to rectify. Records show that the most recent visit by Codes and Regs came on October 3rd when they asked the owners to clean and secure the property or they would need to demolish it. Codes and Regs says that attempts to contact the owner have largely failed, bringing us back to Thursday with fire crews still looking to secure the building. And if trends like this continue, Owen believes we will lose more than just architectural treasures. We're losing generations because the truth of the matter is every generation creates its own forms of beauty and that is a creation of beauty from a generation. Louisville Fire says that arson is investigating. Now I reached out to the Utah-based group, Laszlo Group, who is the owner of this property and their local affiliate, Kentucky Medical Center Hotel LLC, but I've yet to hear back. Reporting live in Louisville, Brandon Spencer, Wave News.